Hey guys, Dahlia here from The Handmade Mastermind. If you're new around here, welcome to my channel. If you are coming back, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to do some photo critiques. If you have missed the first video that I, where I did photo critiques, I'll link it down below. But I had some fun going through several people's Etsy shops and giving feedback on the photos. Um, and the, you know, even if I don't critique your own photos, you could definitely learn something based on what I'm saying about these people's photos okay so let's get started and um i want to make something very very clear um i'm obviously doing this for fun so you know i'm very straightforward you know and you know i want to give the most honest advice so you're able to work with your own photos and make them better okay so very straightforward here no holding back so i'm um here at jacqueline's shop called soap savant i think i'm saying that right um, so she sells unique party favors. Obviously, I'm assuming soap based. Okay, love the banner. Um, let's go directly to the photos. So looking here, I could easily see from her photos that she sells soap, but they're for party favors because I see multiple of them in the photo, which is awesome. This is a great visual for customers when they're searching for a keyword phrase that obviously has the word favor or favors or something like that because then they see multiple. Um, so it actually, you know, makes sense. And then I could also see that she has individualized, personalized each of the the packaging depending on the occasion. This one's obviously a baby shower. This one's a baby shower, but it looks like it's like very rustic snowflake. Okay, so that's really cool. So let's go into a few of these photos and see what do I think of them and how she could improve them. Okay, let's go to this one because it stands out the most. Um, so. So first of all, lovely photo. I think there is an issue with focus here. Um, you probably can't tell from this YouTube video, but um, I don't think this is very crisp as far as focus. Um, it's not a deal breaker for me. I'm just mentioning it because here I am critiquing. So that's number one. I think it might be just a tad bit blurry. Um, she might need to work on just making sure she understands how to use that uh, focus setting you know, and I'll check the other photos as well to make sure this is probably just not a fluke, okay? Um, here's a thing I want to mention. Again, you know, I might mention the word deal breaker or not a deal breaker often, meaning if it's not a deal breaker, I wouldn't rush to fix it, but something to you want to consider. Um, this is not a huge deal breaker for me, but we have this really, um, really cute elephant, pinks, obviously for a girl baby shower, and you have this like wood bark sort of thing in the background. Um, I see why you did it for contrast. I love the idea of contrast. I'm just not sure if this is it. I don't know what the answer is. Um, not for this uh, pink one. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like um, it's not exactly what I would see as a background for such a very, you know, very baby shower favors, pink kind of themed item, you know. But anyway, not a deal breaker. It does have a great contrast here, which I absolutely love. I love the crop on this photo. Um, obviously, this is centered, and you have a few more which show you that you're getting multiple and of course you could pick the amount which is awesome soap color and scent ah cool all right cool um and it shows you the size i think that's very smart because these are favors people will ask the size which will definitely help she kid she gives you in the photo the measurement as well as showing you um next to a quarter. I think that's really fantastic. Here are the soap colors, which again, for a photo, you want to have photos that show off your variations, okay? You obviously can't show off a scent, but um, it tells you, you know, the pink is a grapefruit, the green is a mint, etc. But you probably know how those smell. You don't have to have smell of vision to do, you know, to know what those are. Um, so I love that she has a photo of those, so I know what I'm getting if I pick green and mint, how it looks. Okay, so this is really great. I think this is really great. Let me go to the other photos before I move on to the next shop. Um, this one caught my attention because this one I absolutely love. Um, the wood background bark situation works really well with this because it's a very rustic um, packaging. Okay, it's Christmassy. You have the snowflakes. I just think this works well all the way around. The question is, who, who am I giving this to for soap favors? Christmas soap favors. Christmas party favors for the office. Okay, I got it. So Christmas wedding, anything Christmas related, any type of Christmas party happening. Um, I love that. I think this one 
is a really fantastic photo. I could see a variety of colors in here. I could obviously pick assorted, which is great. Okay, let's look at these additional photos. I see the size, which is always great. I'm out here looking at descriptions, guys. I'm looking at just photos, but I would absolutely recommend that, you know, certain things that are really important to the customer um, also be put in the description as well. In this case, it would be size, it would be um, color, scent, situations like that, you know, as, as far as what the listing includes and things like that. Okay, so the soap, color, and scent. So we have a few here. This smells like red wine. I don't know. What does that smell like? Okay. Um, oh, I get to pick the sleeve color. I didn't have that option in the other listing. So I'm con I'm not confused as a, as a buyer. I'm confused as somebody critiquing your photos why that is. Um, why can I pick a color sleeve for the other ones? But there might be a reason. Um, if you're watching this video, comment down below. I love this. You guys know I'm a big fan of email list. How to personalize your order. Love it because this is, this is really important, obviously. So putting it in here is also great besides putting it in the description box. Um, so here's the thing with this one. Craft is obviously not the same color as craft. So my challenge to you is get accurate colors. And the way to do that, uh, Jacqueline, is to actually take the physical, you know, photo of the paper blank you could put it blank or just put your logo on it whatever and have little um snapshots of that so i could i could literally see exactly how it's going to look because craft has a texture and it's obviously much lighter and it's not like so dark so um i would have your color chart for the sleeve be exactly exactly what it is so literally taking see this blue one here you would literally show them like you know this piece cut and put into um, the color, the sleeve chart. Okay, so I want to see real life um, sleeves as opposed to you putting, you know, just a color. Okay, um, let me see. Oh, this is a cute photo. And then let me look at one more, and then I'm gonna head out. This is really cute. I'm not sure how I feel about the crop happening here, um, but this is soap, soap favors for weddings, bridal shower, etc. Okay, um, very cute. Obviously, another. Um, Okay. I just think the crop is a little odd on here. Um, it's hard for me to say how I would do it. I probably have to do another video like I did before. I'll also put that video down below where I show people how to edit their photos to make it better. Um, but the crop definitely, I think, needs a little work on here. But again, not one of those deal breaker things. I just think the focus here, my eyes look at the soap, but also immediately get drawn to the, the greenery around it. And that's not what I want. I also want to point out the contrast here is lacking. Besides the green standing out, the contrast of these these light pink craft um, labeled items in a crafty looking bag, no go, right? It's 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 not really standing out, okay? So you had some moments where contrast was really great, and then some not so much. I want you to consider that. This is really cool looking. You see that? How it just stands out at me? That's what I want to see. This one stands out, like I said earlier, but I just pictured something else for the background because of its pinkiness. But again, that's not a deal breaker. Okay, and the crop here is way off. All right, let's move on. Um, I had fun talking about the shop. Let's go on to the next one. Hold on a second. Let me just X out some of these. Okay, I just have this one up. I have already a few people um, up. This is from Desiree. Purple Berry Party is her shop name. Um, so it's obviously a downloadable shop, which is cool. Okay, um, it's like a party shop of some sort. It looks like she only has 10 items. So the first thing I'm going to tell Desiree is no go. I don't know what your goals are with this shop, but I would expect to see much more items. A huge variety. Currently, you are selling invites, um, but you only have 10. You obviously opened up recently. You have no sales currently, um, but I think it's a lack of variety. You only have kids' birthday invites, period. But let's let's talk about um, your photos, okay? Looking immediately at your photos, which is not much to look at because you only have 10 items, they look good. They look good. The crop is a little weird because there's a lot, it's a lot more, um, you know, a lot more room on this side, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Um, your designs are 
attractive, so that's fine. Um, I, I, um, I, partic- I wouldn't particularly change your photos, okay? I think they're good. Do I think they could be better? Maybe. I just feel like they're a little bit busy with the color background, with the glitter, with this, with that, when your actual design for your invite has to compete with it. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So it looks like a lot of the same things are happening all around the photo as opposed to a big pop, which is the focus being your invite. Okay. That's pretty much what I have to say about your photos. Let's take a look uh, deeper. Hold on. Okay. So I have a few more photos. Again, stylized. I'm not really sure if there's a point to doing that. I love this. It show love, love, love this. Okay. So this shows people, um, you know, obviously how it's going to come to them. It shows it has crop marks, which I absolutely love. I would probably point out that it has crop marks. Let's see if you already do that. Um, you don't. So I would literally point out like a big arrow, make it attractive looking that has crop marks. Okay. Even if you had a little circle here, zooming in to show people those crop marks, you could say, Hey, um, follow the crop marks for a guide to cut. Okay. They can obviously see that they could cut along the color, but if you have background of an invite that doesn't have full, full color, full bleed, then that might be helpful. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Okay. So that's it. I mean, I just think a lot of your pictures are a little bit busy, but it's not a huge deal breaker for me. I think for you, um, before, you know, besides changing your pictures to make sure that your items stand out more than it mixing in with the background is having a lot more items, having a lot more variety, having not just birthday invites, having the, the accessories that go with birthday invites because you are a printable shop, having the cupcake toppers, having the banners, all that stuff, and then having other types of downloadable items, other types of invites, right? Um, and then other things that make sense within the paper market, okay? Or party market, okay? So that's my recommendation. But overall, not bad. All right, let's move on. Let me take this away. Let me make sure I'm not missing something here. Hold on. Okay. All right. So we have this shop called Monarch Restorations. Hello, Amber. Um, so let's get started. Um, all right. So here's what I immediately see from these photos. So she sells prints of some sort, right? I don't know if they come um, framed already. We'll get into that in just a second. It actually appears like it does because of how beautiful the frame is along with the item, but we'll get back to that. Some of your whites, Amber, are not white, right? So you see here, I'm assuming this is supposed to be a white background, um, and it's not. In the photo, it's actually not white. It looks gray. I don't know if you Photoshop this on. I'm not hating if you did. I think that's absolutely fine. I just think that your whites need to be white. In fact, I recommend that you get a whole bunch of stock photos you created yourself um, with several different setups, several different frames with an empty, you know, white paper or cream paper or whatever paper you use. And then you can Photoshop your designs on. It makes it easier for you to get out more items. Okay. Um, anyway, moving on. Definitely would fix that piece. I... I am, um, and now I'm just nitpicking, okay? So this is not a deal breaker, but some of these are cropped a little bit weird, right? So you see how it's like cut off here. This one, it's the perspective that's a little off. It's not straight on, okay? This one looks almost straight on, but again, the, it's cut off weird. Um, it's, you know, some a lot of room here, not enough room here. Um, that might be a zoom feature that you might have to fix on Etsy, or it's because of your actual photo, Okay, let's take a look. This one, beautiful, a beautiful design, right? Guys, I think I could agree. However, the perspective very off. It looks like you took this picture at a crooked angle, right? Now, listen, you know, is, is it a deal breaker? I don't know. I just think that, you know, we have a lot of competitors on Etsy. Um, a lot of people selling things that are similar in your own field um, for everybody watching this. So you have to do your very, very best to stand out. So when I say I'm not nitpicking, you probably have to fix it, okay? Because subtle move, subtle changes can really make your overall shop look more professional. Um, I think that's really important. Everything else is working really well in here, okay? I might put a few less pumpkins, you know, but I think it looks really great. I just think that the cropping is, it went a little cray-cray, all right? Um, 
let's get in some of these photos. Okay, let's actually dive in and see the additional photos that she provides. Um, and then we'll look at the different sections since I think she offers other things besides these signs, okay? So it looks like I'm getting this whole thing with it. I hope so. I doubt it though. No, I doubt it. So here's the thing. I know this is not photo related, but it technically is. I would definitely put in unframed in your title. I know we don't have much room in the title, but this is probably very important, right? Let's see here. This frame is not included. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if people actually complain or not complain about it or how many people actually want to purchase but end up leaving because they don't know if it comes with it or whatever. I would just say unframed. This is really beautiful. I would also probably recommend to them somewhere because a lot of these frames work really well with these folly type items. I would recommend somewhere where they get a frame similar to this. You might think, oh, yeah, that's a no-brainer. Not necessarily, right? I'd definitely put that somewhere in here or maybe even additional photo, okay? Um, I would also put additional photo that shows you're getting the print only. Let's, let's make sure that we're very clear on that. Okay. Um, otherwise I think it's good. Let's move on to different sections. So we have some canvas prints here. So you have a lot of, uh, Christmas and fall items. I'm going to put something out very quickly. You obviously have a lot of items in your shop, but if a huge majority of it is fall and Christmas. The second that's over, right, then that a huge chunk of your shop is over. So this is just tips for everybody. Don't plan your, a majority of your shop around seasonal items. Make sure bulk is not seasonal, just FYI. But I do like, I don't know if it's intentional, that a lot of the fall and Christmas stuff are pushed to the top um, for shop sections because it's getting closer to that time. However, it might look like that she's doing it based on uh, alphabetical order, which is fine as well. So we have some family signs, fall canvas prints. Okay, let's go to family signs. Okay, so we have some wood signs here. Um, this this one, the lighting is really off. I think you could tell. Um, this one's really cute. I could probably brighten up a bit. I'm not sure if that background is supposed to be pinkish. Um, and if not, there has to be some color correcting. Again, check out my video down below where I actually work on some photos to show you how to improve those things. Um, Okay, let's see here. This one, the lighting is kind of throwing me off because it's taking away detail from the item, but not a complete deal breaker. All right, I mean, these don't, like, okay, these are fine, but that's it. Whoever got away with just being fine, right? So I would hope that, you know, there's something else that really levels them up. So for this one, it's crooked. I don't mind things being at an angle, but something's particularly crooked, it's crooked. I love the contrast between the background and this. I prefer to see it in context, meaning having actually put up in a home where you expect somebody to see this, potentially, okay? Um, I'd personally like to see, um, well, you have definitely um, personalized signs, but these are not really family signs. They're personalized signs. Family signs I think about, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, when I think about family signs, I think about, um, you know, the Abdullah family, which is my last name, established, you know, blah, blah, or, you know, the Joneses, or yada, yada, you know, that's what I think about. So if you're going in that route, definitely put more personalized signs with family names. There's a huge market for that. Um, and again, we're not, we're not taking products here, but I just wanted to point that out. Sometimes I can't help myself. Okay. Um, oh, you sell frames. No, no, you don't sell frames. This is not frames. What is this? Frames? Oh, your handmade frames. Got it. 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 Okay. The, you know, your, your item and your background are competing here. Um, I think the photo editing here is a little crazy. I think we both could agree that picture is not supposed to look like that picture. Okay. You could see the same picture used over and over again, and they all look different in each photo. Okay. Literally. And so... I think for you, Amber, it's, you know, a lot of the things I'm noticing is your, um, you need to figure out a plan to get your items to stand out amongst the background. So contrasting, um, think about, well, yeah, I mean, contrasting, think about colors, think about textures, etc. Make it fit within your branding. Um, some photos that seem to be crooked shouldn't be. Okay, so think about that purposefully. Take your photos, crop them correctly. Okay, that's the biggest thing. And then a little photo editing when it comes to lighting. Again, check out my video down below um, 
it will be it will show you some helpful tips to get rid of the certain colorings in the background that really throw people off um it just doesn't look natural this one the coloring looks fine but it can be brightened a bit so there's a little few things that you could fix on here okay let's look at one more section and we move on to the next shop these i feel are really great um the white tablecloth i'm assuming it's a tablecloth seems a little blue to me so that could easily be fixed but what is really great seems like um the wood is very true to color um again some you know some um some cropping issues. You see how the perspective here is weird? You see how it goes up and then it goes down a little bit? It's a little weird. This one's not a complete deal breaker. I think to the average person you can't tell, so I'm fine with that. Um, I do see that the wood is mixing in with this rock behind here. Um, so I'm not saying I would change it. I'm saying to consider the contrast you want this item to stand out, right? Um, these look great. Okay, I know, um, well, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming these are photoshopped because um, that's the right way to do it. Um, let's see here really quick. So I'm going to point something out to you. Um, I can see in the background, I'm not sure if you guys can see in the the video, but I'm just being particular, that I see that you had another text in the background that you got you took away it looks dark i don't know exactly what happened there or if you didn't um you know completely remove it but i could see reminiscence of the letter r the letter u behind here i don't know what's going on but i just want to point it out i also want to point out that the wood the photo of it is actually not very crisp clear um if that makes sense it looks a little it looks a little blurry just a little Okay, let's move on, shall we? Okay, we have this person's shop, um, Laura. It's evidently Motley. It looks like a... Okay, there's nothing else really going on here, but it looks like um, a, a supply shop, if I'm not mistaken. No snag stitch markers. I think that's for knitting and stuff. Um, Mix it up, stitch markers. Okay, there's not much going on in the shop, okay? So she sells pretty much these stitch markers, okay? And I immediately see a few things that are could be fixed. The lighting, immediately. Check out that video down below, okay? Because this, um, I don't, I'm not sure what color background that is, but it just looks like you put it against something in your home and just took a picture without caring about lighting. Um, I love that you're putting it on this like knitting needle or whatever this may be because you obviously have to show them that this is what it is. It's not a piece of jewelry. So I do like that, but I but I just feel like that it needs to be brightened. Like this photo is okay. I like that it has a little diagonal. And this one too, I just feel like that's not purposely placed, the diagonal. Some are like inconsistent. Like this one is much more diagonal than this one. So it looks like this is by accident, you know. I just think that I'm okay with the diagonal. Make it more purpose, purpose, you know, purposely placed than a few of these. Um, so that's the first recommendation. I think by increasing the brightness, okay, and potentially playing with the hues here, you could probably brighten some of these to show its actual real color. All right. Um, again, we're not here to talk about product line, but this is a very niche product line. So you know, it's only so much you know, Laura could get from this type of shop as far as revenue. I'm not sure what her goals are, but the reality is here we're here to talk about photos only and they need brightness. They need um, composition. The composition needs to be done purposefully. Um, I mentioned that several times. I don't know what kind of background this is, but anyway. Okay, there's not much obviously else to look at, but, and I mean, you know, just those would help alone, help your photos alone. Let's look deep into the other photos to see if you have anything else. So you have a whole bunch of just random photos. Again, they're not purposely placed. They're, I can't take this seriously. You, um, I'm, I'm not sure if you are a newer seller per se, Laura, but there's a lot of things in your shop that has to be worked on. Um, SEO for one, I know, again, this is, a, this is a photo critique, but I have to say something. SEO for one is not okay not okay you know um it needs a lot of work let's see here oh this is a very very odd photo it looks like 
Um, again, I'm being very honest. It looks like my daughter took it. Actually, no, my daughter probably could do better than this. <laughs> it looks like it was a random photo that you that <laughs> you weren't ready for, and it looks completely off center. It is no, you know, I'm okay with off center photos, but it has to be purposefully done. This is not, and you know, I just think there's a lot of work needs to be done here. But you don't have that much items, so it could be done fairly quickly. Um, and your SRO needs some work. You need a much more, you know, a bigger variety of items in your shop. I'm not saying to fill up your shop with a whole bunch of stitch markers. I think you need to expand if you really want to see some things happen. But, um, but yeah, you've been on for, you know, since 2011. I don't know how active, only 92 sales. There's definitely, um, you know, some improvement needed with the photos here. Okay. I think that's it. That's that, that simple. Let's move on. Let me X these out. Let's go to this last shop here. Um, so guys, if you are enjoying this video, by the way, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do videos like this um, here and there. I also do other helpful business um, type videos. You can obviously check out my other videos and you'll see that if you are an entrepreneur, online seller, this, you know, this channel is really, really up your alley. Okay. Um, anyway, make sure you also, like I said, subscribe and like this video and comment down below. I would super, super appreciate it. So now we're in Marie's, um, shop. Okay. And the, the banner I immediately recognize is so beautiful. The item is gorgeous. Okay. Okay, so I immediately am in love. Let me explain why. So she obviously sells jewelry, okay? And I can immediately see that there's a, a huge focus on the items, okay? It looks very luxurious. You have it on this, like, crystal type of um, prop. I also love her use of depth of field here. Um, it, just in case you guys don't know what that means, it's, you know, you have this really small item, you know, I like it for jewelry a lot of the times. You put it in the forefront, right, in the, in the front of your photo, like you see it here, and the background is blurred out, okay? It helps really create a lot of focus on a, such a small item, okay? And that's why I love this technique, particularly for jewelry sellers, as jewelry can be very dainty and stuff, okay? Um, so I absolutely love that. I think her use of, you know, she has this gray color background that's very uh, consistent throughout all her photos. What's going on here? I think something went crazy with that item. Do you see guys what's happening? Let me, let me reload her shop. Okay, I don't know if it's just my, if it's Etsy or if it's just my side but something weird is happening anyway so we have a consistent gray going on which i love it feels very luxurious okay um her items feel very true to color let's see here you know i could feel based on the focus on these items i could see the hammered effect i could feel it i understand what i'm getting so this is really great i think a lot of her crops on her photos are good. Some I would adjust slightly, but they're not deal breakers for me at all. Oh my god, look how gorgeous this this color is. Am I right? Um, and look, depth of field happening here. She has them in the forefront, and the background is just really blurred out, so the focus is this item. Okay, I think that's really pretty. Let's look at some other sections. Um, I think the one with the white backgrounds. I mean, I don't I don't care for them. I think the gray is much much more luxurious, almost like a big slate of something. Um, I prefer for your items. I understand that you might be doing it for contrast if the item is particularly gray. Potentially, I just think that this one looks like I put it on my Ikea table, which is actually white, um, and took a picture. No, you could do better than that. You have done better than that, right? Okay. Bridal hair combs. Okay, you only have one in here. The lighting is really off. It doesn't really match the rest of your shop in terms of awesome photoness. So, you know. I think maybe you already know that. This is really cool. I really love the contrast happening here. I really love this. I don't know what this is called. I, I know what it's called, but it's, um, I forget the name right now. But I absolutely love this texture. It feels very luxurious, very high end. It really does make me want to get this because this, and then the lighting, how it bounces off, really makes the piece shine and stand out. Okay, love these photos. Love, 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 love. Okay, let's go in some, some of these photos and check the additional photos um, before we wrap this up. I always want to check SEO. It's like my, you know, my, um, it's in my blood um, to check it, but I know this is not about SEO. 
Okay, maybe we could do that another time. Okay, I don't know what's happening here, to be honest. This doesn't look purpose on purpose, but I'm not really feeling that photo. Um, in the hair, which is great. Obviously, having contrast is important, so pricking a brunette to model this is very important, showing you how it's coming in the box. That's cool. Okay, um, so that's good. Let me look at some other items when it comes to your um, additional photos. Okay, so some, I mean, some shots are repeating, but some of them are detailed. Okay, cool. So show me how it's gift wrapped. Does that come with everyone? I think so, right? I mean, a lot of times jewelry does come already like in a box or some sort. So I, um, I love that. I just think where you're going to win, Marie, is if your photos, like some other ones that you have, show the luxuriousness of your items and for a pretty good price and so there has some fo there's some photos here that have to be updated okay um in terms of background um i love that piece of i don't know what it's called i'm gonna use the word slate but you know just for lack of a better phrase um i love that piece when you incorporate it i love this um i think this is like uh the felt not felt um oh, i forgot the texture of this of this background here um Velvet? I'm not really sure. I, I really love how it looks. Um, but I think you're going to win with lighting. Like this one kind of feels a little lackluster. I think the lighting can bounce off better on these items to make it look much more wow like this one does. Okay, so there are some improvements you could do in your photos even though overall I'm very impressed. Um, I would make sure that you focus on lighting and making them sparkle. They are, you know, items that mostly should have light bounce off of them and can continue focusing on that contrasting background, you know, that gray type of feel, um, you know, uh, having that piece of slate in the background or on it could be, could be really right, um, for you. And there's only some photos that I noticed that can be fixed when it comes to the placement of your items like this one, you know, it's, it's a fine photo. It's a little dark. Um, but I don't, the earrings don't stand out. They are contrasting. They don't stand out in terms of lighting. And they kind of put in this like non-purposeful angle. This one works really well. This one, not so much. You see? So there's only slight adjustments when it comes to the placement of your items in some photos, not all of them. Um, but I think if you focus on consistent backgrounds and lighting, um, you know, it, I think it's going to be really great. Um, let's look at a few more other photos for additional photos. Did I look at this one already? Do I keep going back to this one? Yes, I do. Let's go to this one. I think there might be similar photos. You know, I don't know how big this is. It's probably important that you do show people the size in comparison to something that people know the size of, like a dime or a quarter, okay? I understand that you put four millimeter or five millimeter, and I obviously choose which size that is, that doesn't mean anything to me. Um, I'm not going to get a, a ruler to measure that, you know, so it's, it's important I understand what it, uh, the size of it, because stud earrings could go really wrong if it's not the right size. So showing people in a photo, preferably the second photo, showing them, you know, the size in comparison would be very, very helpful. And you can show them like four millimeter next to a quarter and five millimeter next to a quarter. Okay, it's important that if you have, like I mentioned before, a variation that we show them, um, how do I say this? We show them um, a photo that shows that variation. So we would have to show them what the size looks like in comparison to something else, okay? All right, and I think that is it. That's all the shops I wanted to go over. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, this photo critique video. I did it before. Um, it was very, very popular. People wanted to see more of it. And here I am showing you more of it. I want to do another video where I show you how to adjust, you know, with Photoshop, you know, some of these photos that are, you know, trouble, prob problematic and, you know, um, with lighting and a lot of the common issues. So that will be coming very soon. If you want me to critique your photos, okay, like I did last time, comment down below, okay, your shop name, a link to your shop. 
and you know what your deal is you know what you sell and introduce yourself why you think you're, you're shot you know you need a sh photo critique how i could help you etc and i'd probably um, be able to do it in the next go around i can't do everybody obviously um i only picked a handful or so here but i'll be able to do um another video hopefully soon okay guys i hope you enjoyed please subscribe and like this video comment below and i'll see you next time bye